doesn't oh. want to play now. He'll play later. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Fresh water. There we go. Carl? What? Is it time for our story now? Oh, ah. yes. Oh, let's have a story about a nibbling animal, mm. like a hamster. A story about oh, a mouse. Oh, let's have a look. Let's oh, a rabbit. Look. Or Ooh, Gizzy what Pig. We've got here. Let... Oh, yeah. Here's one. This is about a dinosaur. D Carl? What? Dinosaurs don't nibble. They don't, do they? No. Hang on a second. Let's have a look. Oh, yep. Now, this story is all about something that nibbles. Come on, sofa. Yes. You ready? Get ready. Yeah, oh, yes. This is called Kipper's Toy Box. Oh. Someone or something had been nibbling a hole in Kipper's Toy Box. Oh. I hope my toys are safe, said Kipper. He emptied them out and counted them. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, seven. Seven. That's wrong, he said. Oh. There should only be six. Kipper counted his toys again. This time, he lined them up to make it easier. Big Owl, one. One. Hippopotamus, two. 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 Sock Thing, three. three. Slipper, four. four. Rabbit, five. five. Mr Snake, six. six. Oh That's better, mm. he said. Mm. Kipper mm. put his toys back in the toy box. Then he counted them one more time just to make sure. Mm. One, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, Se eight noses. <laughs> what? That's too, too many noses, yeah. said Kipper. Kipper grabbed Big Owl and threw him out of the toy box. Oh. One, he said crossly. Oh. Out went Hippopotamus. Two. Two. Out went Rabbit. Three. Three. Out went Mr Snake. Four. Four. Out went Slipper. Five. Five. But where was six? <laughs> where was Sock Thing? Oh, Sock Thing. I like oh. Sock Thing. Kipper was upset. No. Oh. Next to Rabbit, Sock Thing was his favourite. Oh. Now he was gone. Oh. I won't lose any more of you, said Kipper. He picked up the rest of his toys and put them in his basket. Then he climbed in and kept watch until bedtime. Oh. <laughs> That night, Kipper was woken by a strange noise. It was coming from the corner of the room. Oh. Kipper turned on the light. <laughs> there, wriggling across the floor, was... Sock, sock thing. thing! Sock Thing. It must have been Sock Thing who'd been eating his toy box. <laughs> Kipper was not sure what to do. None of his toys had ever come to life before. No. He jumped back in his basket and hid behind Big Owl. <gasps> Look. Sock Thing wriggled slowly round in a circle and bumped into the basket. Uh -huh. Then he began to wriggle back the way he'd come. He didn't seem to know where he was going. No. Kipper followed. Mm. He followed him. Look. <gasps> yeah. Quickly, Kipper grabbed him by the nose. Sock Thing squeaked and wriggled <gasps> harder. Then a little tail appeared. Look, look, look. look. <laughs> a little pink tail. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's the best. And a little voice said, Don't hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> so it was you. You've been making the hole in my toy box, mm. said Kipper. Mm. It was true. The mice had been nibbling pieces of Kipper's toy box oh. to make their nest. Oh. So it wasn't sock thing. No. 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 Well, a sock can't really nibble, can no. it? No. Mm. You must promise not to nibble it again, mm. said Kipper. We promise, said the mice. Yeah, the mice. That was the mice. Mm. Very good. good. Mm, yeah. In return, Kipper let the mice share his basket. Aww. It was much cosier than a nest made of cardboard, mm. and the two little mice never nibbled Kipper's toy box again. Oh. But their babies did. They nibbled everything. Everything. Oh, Look at right them. Mess, aren't they? Yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if Henry enjoyed that story. Oh, I expect he did. Mm. Yeah, let's ask him. Uh, Henry, Henry, did you like listening to... <gasps> oh, no. What? What's the puppy? Look, the door's open. <gasps> Henry must have her scared. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, dear. Oh, no. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, look, the door's open. That was you. 
too, Carl. No. Well, well look, it yeah, doesn't but, matter uh, who left the door open. We've got to find Henry. You're right, Peggy. Oh. Right. I'll look here. Poppy, you look in the bedroom. Peggy, you look in the kitchen. Right. See, Henry did want to play after all. He wanted to play hide and seek. Henry, with your not, here I come. I wonder where Henry's hiding. I know. I'll look under the table. No. Behind the curtains. No. On the bookshelves. No. Oh, dear. I hope Henry hasn't run away altogether. Henry! Where are you? It's only Peggy. Come back to your nice safe cage. Please, Henry. Oh, come on. Oh, I wonder if he's found the biscuit jar. He does love biscuits. Hmm. I better have a look in the cupboards. Henry! That's funny. The jar's gone. <gasps> there it is. <gasps> Here are a few crumbs. I wonder if they've been left by Henry. <gasps> they make a trail. Let's follow them and see if they lead us to him. Oh, he goes round the corner now. Any luck, Peggy? Oh, I hope so. I'm following a trail. What oh. sort of trail? A biscuit trail. Oh. It started in the kitchen and went along the corridor, and now it goes round the corner. Aha, uh -huh. and you think it will lead us to Henry? Yes, it should do. Oh yeah, we're detectives mm. on a hamster hunt. Mm. I'll get my magnifying glass. Mm, right. Oh, Peggy. Mm. This is my magnifying glass. It's made of special glass that makes things look bigger. No, look, Carl. What, what, There's what, what, a what? button you lost off your shirt. Oh, yeah. <gasps> well done, Poppy. I've been looking for that for ages. Mm. Well, Carl, look. What, There's what, a what? drawing pin there. Hey, so there is. Well done, Peggy. It's a good job we found that before somebody trotted it. Yeah, but, Carl, where do the crumbs lead? Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Hang on. Hang on. They lead mm. over here to... The table? No, oh, that's funny. We're back where we started. Well, perhaps Henry decided to go back inside. Perhaps. Oh, let's have a look. Now it's empty like it was before. <laughs> I think you must have dropped those crumbs, Carl. Hang on a minute. What? Let's have a look. What? Look. <gasps> it's Henry! Look, he's buried himself under all his bedding. I can't see him. Oh, oh look, there. there he is. <laughs> hey. I have a feeling that Henry never went out at all. Mm. I think he must have snuggled down and gone to sleep. And we only thought he'd escaped because we left the door open. Oh, never mind. At least Henry's safe. That's the main thing. You're <laughs> right, Peggy. All that hamster hunting's worn me out. <laughs> oh, oh, there's the bus bell. Oh, will you help me take Henry out to the bus stop, please, Carl? Of course I will, Peggy. Mm. Bye, Peggy. Thanks for bringing such a lovely, nibbling visitor to see us. Oh, I'm sure he enjoyed himself. Come on, Henry. Time to go home. See you Bye. next time. Bye. You. Well, that turned out to be an exciting visit, didn't it? Mm. I'm glad we found Henry in the end. See you next time. Bye-bye. What do you think, Rob? And next time is Monday when Playdays will return and Charlie and Y are designing some clothes for a party. Wow! The Littlest Pet Shop and another Top Stop are on the way today. <laughs> <laughs>